Hello everyone, welcome back. Every day this week, I've been attempting to make music with some ridiculous limitation or challenge, and today I'm gonna to be recording a song with my two-year-old son's toys. This will be interesting because I've played a fair bit with these toys, and I can tell you none of them sound all that great, but it's not a challenge if there is no challenge. YouTube hasn't been serving up my videos as much lately, so make sure if you're new here, you hit that subscribe button, and if you're subscribed, make sure you ring that bell for notifications. I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna stay tuned to the end of this series. All right, these are all the musical toys I could scavenge from my house. I think this is all of them. Um, be warned, if you hear a toddler screaming sometime throughout this video, there's a good chance it's because he couldn't find one of these. And don't get me wrong, I don't know how I could love my son anymore, but man, two-year-olds. I don't know if you can still see it, but there was a handprint on the side of my face. Earlier today, my son comes running to me, like he's gonna give me a big hug, he's got a big smile. Nope, smack, <laughs> right across my face. And you can't react to it because that's what he's looking for and you don't wanna reinforce it. Anyways, let's talk about these toys. First of all, we've got the avocado guitar. Is it a fruit? Is it a vegetable? Nope, it's a guitar. You spin the pit or press one of these buttons, and it plays a nice little riff. This thing is great for newborns, but it's also great for adult guitarists because every one of the licks is a chicken pickin' sizzler. I'm not kidding when I say that I've learned every one of the licks off this thing. As far as using this thing in a song goes, I'm just gonna chop up and sample some of the riffs and interject them throughout. Now before we get to the rest of the toys, I'm gonna quickly let you know that I've got a brand new guitar course called The Style of Soloing available at my course platform, SamuraiGuitarTheory.com. In this course, I teach the fun stuff, the stuff that adds flavor to a solo. We'll do a deep dive into chromatics, thinking differently about bending notes, blue notes, using chords in a solo, and much more. This is the biggest, most ambitious course I've done, and I'm so excited it's finally out because I feel like this is me opening up my bag of tricks for the world to see. For limited time, it's half off with promo code EARLYBIRD50, or you can get it bundled together with my other soloing course, two for the price of one, with that same promo code. You can find more information at samuraiguitartheory.com. I'll also put a link in the description. Anyways, let's get back to them toys. Next up, we've got the Echo Microphone, <laughs> which smells like juice. Very simple, you talk into it, and it adds an echo to your voice. Obviously, I'm gonna sing into this thing for the song, but I'll give you a disclaimer. I don't particularly like singing. I don't think I'm very good at it. And there's definitely some insecurity there stemming from this one time in my grade four choir class when I was doing the solo part and my voice cracked and the whole shithead class laughed at me. But yeah, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna sing into it. You've been warned. I'm also wondering if it would do anything in front of an acoustic guitar. Yeah, kind of. So I'll use it on an acoustic guitar too. Let's talk drums. I bought this cheap drum toy on Amazon last year. It doesn't sound that great and it eats batteries like Joey Chestnut eats hot dogs, but my son absolutely loves this. Nice job, buddy. It doesn't have a hi-hat, so I'm just gonna use the cymbals and these other drums to make up part of a bigger drum sound. And I just remembered there is this wonderful reggae demo tune in here that has a strange bar of five in it. And I've desperately wanted to share this with somebody because despite my best efforts of trying to explain this concept to the boy, he doesn't care at all about it. Check this out. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Next up, we've got a Casio SA46, which is the cheapest keyboard that I could find, but it's also one of the most used toys in our house. It's got some touch pads with a hi-hat and a decent sounding kick and snare. So I could very easily use this for the entire song, but instead I'm gonna limit myself to the drums, the bass, maybe an organ, maybe a sax, but keep it contained to that. We've also got the trusty old pink ukulele. I bought this for a photo shoot that I did a while back. I think this was for Black Friday or something and, you know, looking pretty good if I do say so myself. It's made of plastic and I never play it, so it made its way into the pile of toys. And now 
whenever we put on ZZ Top for my son, he grabs this thing and pretends to play it. And cute stuff like that makes up for getting slapped in the face now and then. Little Tykes, blue. I actually don't know what you call this. It is a xylophone-esque idiophonic noisemaker. This is a vintage piece of gear. It used to belong to my sister, but then my parents dropped it off over here one day and now it's at our place. You can only play in the key of C, so that might limit what I'm doing, but uh, I definitely can find a use for it. Then we've got some shaker things, which I will use for shaker things, and also a mini conga, which I will do some conging with. All right, that's the gear that old Sammy G's working with here. My plan for the song that I'm gonna make is write and record something that could have been the theme song to my YouTube channel if it were a 90s sitcom. Whatever you hear next is whatever I come up with. Every day is tough enough. The world is on fire and the housing market sucks. The internet is just as bad. and only leave nice comments, please. Okay, so making music that sounds good is in itself a hard enough task. When you're trying to do that with literal toys, it is that much harder. It was a bit of a battle to get what you heard. Every step of the way, my musical intuition was telling me, delete that, it doesn't sound good. But I had to remind myself that that's just kind of the deal today. And I think it would actually be pretty fun to take that song and now go and re-record it with proper gear and an actual singer. But that's kind of been the thing with these challenges, right? Is I never would have created that if I just sat down to make music. These challenges force you to go places you wouldn't normally go. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, making music with my toddler's toys. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments for the first half hour. I'm gonna be responding to every single comment. So if you've ever wondered if Sammy G responds, the answer is yes, he does, at least for the first half an hour. And remember, my brand new course, The Style of Soloing, is now available. You can get it half off with promo code EARLYBIRD50, or you can get it bundled together with my other soloing course, two for the price of one, with that same promo code. You can find more information at samuraigatarttheory.com. I'll also put up links in the description. Thank you all for watching. If you missed the last challenges, you can hit that link up there, and make sure you tune in tomorrow for the next one. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and stay tuned for a wide range of music-related content. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Samurai Guitarist. See you again soon.